So on this problem, what we're doing is, again, we just need to convert to exponential form. So this one gets a little bit more difficult because we, when we write this in exponent, so when we take it from logarithmic to exponential, we get an equation that looks like this. 3 raised to the x minus 4 power equals 243. Now, this is not very easy to look at this, Emily, and say, oh, x has to be this number. However, we remember when we have solving and we have exponents, right? we know if I can rewrite these both to the same base, then the powers or the exponents are going to equal each other, right? Right? right. So what I can do then is, I, all right, so can I rewrite 243 as a base 3? So as Jonathan is checking in his calculator, we say, well, we know that 3 to the first power, that equals 3. 3 squared equals 9. 3 cubed equals 27, right? So then 3 to the fourth power is going to be 81. And 3 to the fifth power equals, wait for it, wait for it, 243. So what that means is I can rewrite this as x minus 4 equals 3 to the fifth power. You guys see how that works awesome? So now I'm at this point. Do you guys see now what we can do? Now we say, oh, well, since the bases are the same, we know that our exponents now have to equal each other. And then we solve. So that x equals 9. So yes, well, this is like a two-step. The main important thing that we did for our homework, though, Mallory, was taking it from logarithmic to exponential. And then once you have an exponential, you can either evaluate or use the equality property of, of exponents. I rewrote 243 as, as 3 raised to the fifth. And the reason why I had to write it as 3 raised to the